Welcome to this short video in which we will outline how to define hazard and conduct a risk assessment. As a prevention officer, it is important for you to be able to identify a hazard and assess the level of risk associated with that hazard. According to WorkSafe BC, a hazard is a thing or a condition that may expose a person to a risk or occupational disease. Risk is identified as a chance of injury or occupational disease. This information is important for you to know because it will help you determine how to control or eliminate hazardous situations in a workplace. To illustrate this, let's take a look at a workplace scenario. Here is a building with a heating, ventilation and air conditioning unit, which requires annual servicing. The servicing is typically carried out by a qualified HVAC technician who dons all of the appropriate personal protective equipment. Let's assess the risk of this situation. The first thing we need to do is identify the hazards associated with the technician's job. In this scenario, the hazard is falling off of the roof. Now that we have identified the hazard, the next thing we need to do is assess the risk posed by that hazard. In this scenario, the risk posed by this hazard is serious injury or fatality. The next step is to conduct a risk assessment. There are various different ways of conducting a risk assessment. Quantitative, using numbers, and qualitative, based on your experience and opinions. We will assess the level of risk using a quantitative example. A quantitative risk assessment is performed by calculating the following risk score. C times E times P. Now let's take a look at each part of the equation in detail. C represents the possible consequence or severity of injury or disease. C is first expressed in words and then assigned a numeric value. Referring back to our scenario, the most severe possible consequence of falling off of the roof is fatality. The assigned numeric value associated with a fatality is 100. E represents exposure, which is defined as how often a worker is exposed to a hazard. As with consequence, exposure is described in words and then assigned a numeric value. Referring back to our scenario, the exposure is very rare as the work is done on an annual basis. The assigned numeric value associated with very rare is 0.5. Now that we have determined the numeric value for C, consequence, and E, exposure, let's take a look at P. P represents probability of injury or disease. This is the likelihood that a hazard will result in a mishap and is based on such factors as the type of work, the work location, and the characteristics of the population at risk. Again, probability is described in words and then assigned a numeric value. Referring back to our scenario, since maintenance is being carried out by a trained technician donning the proper personal protective equipment, the likelihood of the technician falling from the roof would be conceivable but unlikely. The assigned numeric value associated with conceivable but unlikely is 0.5. Now that we have the numeric values associated with each part of the risk assessment equation, let's calculate the risk score for this scenario. The equation is consequence, which is 100, multiplied by exposure, which is 0.5, multiplied by probability, which is 0.5, giving us a risk score of 25. Once we have a numeric value for this risk score, we need to assign a level of risk according to the following scale. A risk score of less than 20 points is negligible. 21 to 69 is low, 70 to 199 is medium, 200 to 399 is high, and anything greater than 400 is very high. Because we have determined the risk associated with this particular task is low, there is no need to implement any further controls. We hope that this video has given you a better understanding of how to define hazard and conduct a risk assessment. If you require further information on this topic, please visit the WorkSafeBC website.